Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you and show you when to use your high beams and how to use them. Your high beams are actually an important part of your car's functionality and it's important to know number one when to use them and number two how to use them. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. First and foremost, when to use your high beams. So basically you want to use your high beams in low light situations, that's the main use Use for your high beams if you're driving on a road where uh, there are animals that are prone to running out onto the road that's one situation like a dangerous situation where the lighting is lower than what it needs to be or if you're driving on a road that doesn't have any street lights that's another low light situation if the street lights are burnt out or if there aren't any street lights that are even set up on that road then that's another situation I've driven on highways where there are no lights on the highway there are only reflectors on the ground and that is definitely a situation when you want to use your high beams, okay? Another very rare situation where you want to use your high beams is when both of your headlights are not working. Whether they are not working because of a fuse or whether they are burnt out. But that is a very rare situation and I'll tell you why. First of all, if one of your headlights burns out, you should get the bulb replaced ASAP like the same day don't wait a week a month the same day so that's why it they, both of your headlights should pretty much never be burnt out for the most part it might happen but it's very rare if you replace it ASAP the same day hopefully um, but secondly in most cars each headlight is on its own fuse meaning if your right headlight fuse uh, breaks or burns out um, or blows basically if the fuse blows on the right headlight then your left headlight will still work hopefully but let's say your left headlight burns out then your right headlight fuse blows at you're left with no headlights then you would use your high beams because you still need to see in front of you very important now with that being said um, when to not use your high beams is when you see a car that's oncoming. So basically, if you have your high beams on in a low light situation, um, then you see a car that's coming towards you, you want to turn off your high beams because you don't want to hinder their vision. You don't want to basically blind that driver, as we say. So if you see an oncoming car, then definitely turn off your headlights because it's going to ensure that you don't uh, hinder their vision to see uh, because that can cause them to drift into your lane and it can create an accident really quickly. So that's when you want to turn off your headlights. Headlights. Now, with regards to how to use your headlights, I'm going to show you that. So we're going to turn this camera around. Let's go ahead. Here's my face, and we're just going to whoom, just like that, 180 turn, 180 degrees. Now, if you look at your steering wheel, you're going to see most likely your headlight controls on your left lever. And this is in most cars. I, I can't say every car on earth has this, but in most cars, you're going to see your basically your your headlight controls over here. Now, I want you to pay attention right here. So you have a few different options. Okay. Right now, I have my set to auto which is automatically turn them on or off okay if you actually um, flicker through this like the lever on the side here this is gonna basically go to the various headlight modes okay now this is for fog lights this is a little bit different I can turn them off or on but basically the high beams are out and in just like that so very simple okay if you want to flick your high beams on and off you just want to go like that and if you look on your dashboard you can see that the light is going on and off according to basically what I'm what I'm what I'm doing with the lever. So let's say you know you want to alert another driver about something, uh, something that we do at least here where I live. I and I don't know about if the legalities of it where you live, but where I live, it's sort of commonly accepted that if you want to alert a driver about something, you just go like that. It's a quick like, hey, I want to let you know that something's up, right? Very simple and straightforward. And if you want to keep your headlight, your high beams on, sorry, this is all about high beams, not headlights. This is headlights, okay? This is high beams right here. And as you can see, it's that blue light over there. If you want to keep your high beams on, you just push it out. Now, you'll notice that I pushed it out right here, and the high beams are not on. The light is not on. I'll tell you why. Because my headlights are not on. If you want your high beams to stay on in most cars, you're going to have to turn on your headlights, which I did right there, okay? And then you want to turn on the high beams. And as you can see right there, now the blue light is on. It's staying on. I can turn it off, or I can turn it back on. Off, on. Basically, that's it. You want to keep your high beams on. Make sure that your headlights are on. Then push it forward and leave it like that. When you want to turn them off, you bring it back. And if you want to flash your high beams, just like that, if you want to flick them, 
just like that out and in just like that very simple and straightforward i'm going to put my lights back to auto so that they don't stay on and drain my battery um, when i'm out of the car yeah keep that in mind if you're leaving your headlights on uh, your high beams on and your car is off obviously your battery is going to drain so always keep that in mind and that's basically it here i am again i really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching